Self check 10.17 array list mystery 3. We want to consider the following method right here. We want to write the output produced by the method when past each of the following array lists. And I'm going to start off doing this big one right here. And then you can do the other two yourselves. I'm going to explain how this method works so you'll be able to do it, understand it, and apply it elsewhere as well. So first we have public. We know it's static. Um, it's going to return nothing, its name and we have a parameter being passed in of type integer. So it's an array list with the type in the little carrots, integer and the array name, array list name is list. We have this for loop right here and after the for loop is where we are gonna print that is going to be the output that we have here. So first, we set our first variable to be equal to the size minus two. So if we look at this one, we have a size of six. We have six elements inside of here. Subtract two, we now have four as our i. So we're looking at index four. We're running this as long as i is greater than zero, and we want to decrement this every single time so that we can get down to zero. So we have two temporary variables right here. We have it grabbing inside of a, it's going to grab the current element. So at index four, that's going to be five. Remember index is one over or one or more than the actual size right, because index starts at zero, length starts at one. So it's going to be here, uh, actually zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so this is four. Well, actually, yeah, four, and then we have six. Sorry about that. So we have, we know we have six elements right here. Zero, one, two, three, four. So we're starting at four right here. So that's gonna grab that one. And then B is gonna be the um, fourth element plus one. So that's going to be at the fifth index. So that will be at this last one right here. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we should have a five and a six inside of our A and our B. And we're going to set our current index, which remember I is equal to four from up here. We're going to set that to be equal to A plus B. We know that we have five and six. So that's going to be 11. Now let's write out this array list right here so we can edit it. Dot set replaces whatever we have in there. So at the fourth index, remember this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So at this index, it's going to be replaced with 11. Now we're going to run through this again, except this time i is going to be equal to 3. And now it's 3. We're going to have the third element here and the fourth element in here. So the third element is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. It's going to be this 4 right here. And the fourth element is going to be this 11. And at our right here, the third element, we want to dot set, which is replace it with the addition of these two. So that's going to be 4 plus 11, which is 15. Same thing for this one. This is now going to be 2. So i is equal to 2. And a is going to be uh, 15. B is going to be, or actually, sorry, A is going to be equal to 3, B is going to be equal to 15. So we add these together, we get 18. You can start to notice a pattern here, and it's that we are basically adding the previous two together and setting it to this current index until we get to this one. This one we don't want to touch because I is greater than 0, so we don't touch the 0th index. If it was greater than or equal to 0, then we would add these two as well. But that's going to be it for that one. Try the rest on your own. It's pretty simple. I'll give you the answers. Hopefully you've tried it. So the first one is just going to be 72 and 20. Nothing really to do here because our size is two, right? And if we subtract two, well, i is gonna be equal to zero. And so we're not gonna go through this for loop. So we're just gonna print out our array. And for this last one, we have a nine, 10, 90, 70, 40. So that should be good. And we've passed, oh, I guess we have an error here. Um, wrong spacing or type. Let's try to have some space in between these guys. That might help a little bit. So having the spacing, submit, that passes three out of three tests. And that's how we would look at the self-check 10.17.